So in this video we take care about that hour pointer and instead of modeling this uh, from scratch we take uh, the minutes pointer and try to tweak it. So we duplicate that guy, hit Control D and let's move this up a little bit and now let's um, put that um, original minutes pointer on layer 2 here and say add selected object. Okay, so now let's go to the top view and check that out. It's looking almost the same, but it's... it's. Uh, let me select the right one. Um, but it's a little bit shorter. Yeah. But it's almost the same geometry. So it's only a little bit shorter, as I can see it from here. And there's another thing, that the cylindrical shape of that guy is a little bit larger a little bit wider. So we take the verts here in front of that guy and move those back into position somewhere about here. It's looking good from this point on. So now let's take care about um, that cylindrical shape. Um, let me try something. So select all of those words. And yeah, if we scale those, I mean, then we are changing um, the overall shape of it. Let me scale that proportionally. Okay, I don't want to do that, so let me undo this. Um, let's only select uh, the vertices of that c cylinder here, the side um, words, all of those. And then let's say we want to scale this proportionally. So let me um, also switch to the top view that I can see it from from the top. And then hit Control and scale in, in Y. So to scale that out. So what you see from here on that uh, changes uh, chain changes the shape, but we have to tweak that manually. Um, doing this by uh, let me first select that object and bring the Y rotation back to zero. So you don't have to do that, but uh, yeah, it's easier to see what's going on. So let's um, take those vertices and uh, those here, and then let's uh, scale those in um, scale those in Z to get that uh, round shape back. Something like that. So let's uh, check that out, how that looks uh, when we uh, smooth that guy. Yeah. I can live with that result. Okay. So, with that done, let's um, bring up the pivot. So hold down D and move it up in Y somewhere about here. And then let's move that guy down. So let me unhide uh, all the other layers that we have. Let's move this guy down on the bottom, right on top of the bottom here. I don't want to intersect it, but um, yeah, just right it, right there. And then we move this guy. Let's uh, also change the pivot, hit D and move the pivot up in Y, somewhere about here. And then move the whole guy down in Y. Uh, let's bring it somewhere about here. Okay, so let's check out. So this is the original minutes pointer. So let's uh, rotate that guy into position to see if everything is, is so all right and everything is looking good. Uh, let's select the uh, hours pointer that we just made. It's looking good to me. So yeah, I think we are done with those uh, pointers. Mm. And let me take a look at this. So what we now could do is um, copy that little pointer and that little rivet here over to the other two parts. And um, to do this, um, uh, let me take a look in the outliner if I already grouped those. No, I didn't. Um, so I have both objects selected. Hit Control G to group them. And then bring the pivot of that group um, to the center of that rivet here. So move it 
hit D and move that pivot and V and snap it to this point here. And we also could hit um, what we also could do is we could snap the pivot here to um, the hit D and then uh, V snap over that center vertex there. So that's right in the center of that ripple piece. And now we uh, hit Control D to duplicate that group. And with that duplicated group, we just hit a V and middle mouse over that point here. And there you go. Should be uh, at the same spot as the first one. And uh, hit Control D again. And we do the same, put it here. Like that. Now we have um, every piece done here from the inside part of that watch. And what we could do in the next video is uh, creating yeah, those uh, outer rings um, of, the, of that watch. Those here. Or what we could do is we crea could create that main case. But uh, yeah, I think for this one I'm done. So let me pause the video and I'll be back soon.